Okay guys, welcome along. So Wednesday afternoon, it's just gone three o'clock and I'm en route to Buxton in the High Peak. Why am I heading to Buxton on a Wednesday afternoon? Well, because this evening at the Buxton Opera House, Ocean Colour Scene are playing a gig. Um, or at least some of them are. It's an acoustic gig by two of the band and I'm hoping to get them to sign my scoot. And I'm also hoping to catch up with the other band members later in the week and get them to sign my scoot. So um, pretty exciting for me as a massive OCS fan. And um, for me, they're the best band of the 90s, without a doubt. You know, growing up in the late 70s, early 80s, for me, it was the jam. And, um, you know, Paul Weller has been a constant throughout my life. Steve Craddock, as you know, from uh, Ocean Colour Scene, is, is Weller's right-hand man uh, on guitar. And also plays with the specials as well. Um, but tonight, it's just Simon Fowler, the lead singer, and Oscar Harrison, the drummer. Um, Oscar can also play bass and piano, so it's going to be an amazing gig from just the two of them. And uh, really looking forward to it. So we're going to head up there, see if they can sign the scoot. Got no idea what's going to happen at all. Um, but we're about to find out. We're just heading into Buxton Town Centre now. Now Buxton is the next town up from where I live. Um, so it's not too far at all. It's like a 15 minute ride. And um, tried to get a message through to the band as well. Asking if they would sign the scoot through um, the, the fan page on Facebook. And... Um, you know, got got the right response that we were looking for, but really didn't get any confirmation. So, put a message out through a scooter pal of mine who we, who uh, been for a couple of rides with, Den, Den Davis. Now, if you are a massive Jam fan, you will know that and recognise the name Den Davis because Den is the man that curated the exhibition at the um, the About the Young Idea exhibition at Somerset House and at the Cunard Building in Liverpool a couple of years ago. So Dan was this massive jam fan, he had a massive collection of memorabilia and put together these exhibitions that were uh, very well received. And he's also written a couple of books as well about the jam. So um, Dan's done some work with Ocean Colour Scene, he's put the word out that we need the scooter signing or would like it signing and um, fingers crossed, right? Let's see what's going to happen. We're just coming through Buxton Town Centre now and we're heading to the Opera House, hoping to get them on the way into the sound check, but um, like I say, no idea at all what's going to happen here. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so that's the Opera House there, just on the left. And I'm um, just going to pull in at the side of it here. And I've been told that the stage door is um, just up the side here, so I'm not sure whether it's that door there or the next one up. There's Vicky in the camper, just pulling up. Hopefully if I ask her nicely, she'll make me a brew. But we're gonna have a look and uh, try and find the stage door. So we're here outside the stage door. She's here. Just waiting for uh, Simon and Oscar to arrive. So guys, I waited around for about um, probably about 45 minutes to an hour uh, near the stage door and lo and behold, Oscar and Simon pull up in the car. And there you can see Oscar, he was first up uh, to the stage door from the car and um, very, very welcoming, very friendly, very approachable. Had a little chat with him and he was more than happy to sign the scoot. He was absolutely blown away by the scoot as well. Really, really liked it. And, uh, you know, that, for me, that meant a lot that he liked the, the scoot and was happy to sign it. So, uh, true gent. And then coming up the road behind him from the car was Simon, okay? And, again, Simon, absolutely wonderful with the fans. Uh, real gentleman. Just coming into view now. And he was absolutely blown away. Simon was blown away by the scoot. He would just... He was so full of compliments and he absolutely loved it. I could tell he loved it and um, had a little chat with him about it. He was asking me how I'd done it and what we'd done to the scoot to make it look so uh, OCS themed and how we'd done it. So he was really interested, genuinely interested, genuinely nice guy as well. Um, you know, which you know, if you're a fan, he comes over that way. He's a genuinely nice guy. Uh, very, very good with the fans. He's got a lot of time for the fans. Uh, but what a voice this guy's got. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure that Simon would have stayed and chatted all day if he'd have had the chance, but I think he was being dragged away by his, uh, his tour entourage there to get into the sound check. But um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant to meet him uh, after listening to his voice for so many years. And uh, as you can see, they signed the scoot there. So there's one person missing from the main threesome that have been the constant band members over the years, and it was Steve Craddock, who wasn't there on this day. But as it happened, it turns out that Steve was coming up to Wrexham in North Wales um, just three days later on the Saturday. So is there anything I can do to try and get Steve's signature on there as well? We're about to find out. So guys, it's Saturday afternoon. The sunshine is pouring like wine. And guess where I'm off to? I am off to try and find Steve Craddock. Okay, so this is three days after the, um, the gig at Buxton when Simon and Oscar signed the scoot and um, I've heard that Steve is up in Wrexham which is on the North Welsh border and it's probably about 60 miles from where I live in Derbyshire, right? So um, I believe he's up opening a, a clothes shop. His son has gone into partnership to open a clothes shop in the town of Wrexham and Steve has come up to do a DJ set which is pretty cool and I thought well it's a great opportunity, it's a beautiful day and um, you know, I never know, you never know when it's going to be this close again or if I'm going to be able to catch him again around a gig and I thought today would be a great opportunity to ask him to sign the scoop so I've emailed his, his good lady Sally and um, they've said yeah come on over and he's going to sign the scoop for us so uh, we've done about 25 miles and we've got about, about 35 miles to go and we should be there in about 45 minutes from now so yeah, happy days guys, looking forward to this Hopefully it'll go smooth and um, we'll get his signature on the scoot. So I'll see you there in about 45 minutes. Happy days, guys. Woohoo! So I arrive at Wrexham and um, I'm following the sat nav at this point. So the sat nav um, takes me right to the uh, to where the shop is. But when I got here, I realised that the shop is in the pedestrianised area. Okay, so I got to this point here and it said no access for motorcycles. So I thought, right, well, what I need to do is get off the scoot and push it through the precinct and hopefully then I'm not going to get a fine. I mean, I don't know, but we'll, we're going to find out. So I pushed it through the precinct. Had to push it up and down a couple of times before I found the shop. Uh, but then I found the shop, which is upstairs above this pawnbroker's and um, went inside, met Sally. There was a few people in there. Met Sally first, then I met Steve, had a chat with him. Um, met Cass, and then Cass gave me this little tour of the shop. Now, if you want to see more details about the shop, I've done a separate video on the channel called Vestito Clothing. Uh, so have a look at that, check that out. There's Steve down in the corner doing his DJing. And um, really, really nice guy, just like Oscar and Simon. Very welcoming, happy to have a chat, and um, just an absolute pleasure to meet him after listening to his work for so many years. Um, and then, yeah, he came downstairs, signed the scoot, was more than happy to sign it. And he was absolutely blown away by the scoot as well. And, um, yeah, look what happened, right? So I asked him for a picture on the scoot, and he said, forget that. He said, I'm going for a ride on it, right? So we had a quick whiz up and down the precinct. And, um, of course, when Steve Craddock asks to ride your Ocean Colour Scene scooter, you're not going to uh, object, are you? Let's be honest. Like but, yeah, Steve absolutely loved the scoot. Cool, it? Like it. Rev and go, innit? Yeah. Yeah, that's easy, innit? So, I'd like to go further, but I'm busy DJing. So, yeah, great to meet Steve and his family, and um, pleased I got the signatures on there. I think it finishes the scoot off nicely. So, yeah, really good to talk to Steve about the Royal Alloys, and. Um, the other interesting thing is Steve is good friends with Manny from the Stone Roses. Okay, now Manny is fairly local to where I live and he's part of our collective of scooter riders. It's not a club, but it's a loose collective of riders that ride out. And um, 
met Manny a couple of times, really sound bloke, but Steve was saying that when he, when Manny got his Royal Alloy, he was on the blower to Steve saying, Steve, you've got to get one of these, these are the future, right? And Manny's, you know, he's got classic scooters, as has Steve, right? So uh, really interesting that these guys are um, riding these new machines. And um, the other interesting thing is, is Steve was saying that he's doing um, a limited edition Royal Alloy with one of the main dealers. I'm not sure which dealer it is, but um, Dan also mentioned this. He said that Steve's doing this limited edition paint job um, and it's going to be amazing. There's going to be only 10 of them released. And he was telling me that it's going to be like a, a kind of paisley, pearlized paint job on the sides. It looked amazing from the, um, you know, the kind of images that I, that I saw. And um, yeah, look out for that. It's going to be interesting, right? So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm pleased with the way mine's looking with the signatures on. The only thing that's missing off mine now is a bass player. What do I do? Do I try and find Damon Minchella? Or do we get Ray to sign it? Or do we track down Dan Seeley? I think I'll probably leave it as it is with just the three mainstays of the band over the years. Guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I was laughing as well because we call ourselves the Bad Shitters, right? It's called the Bad Shitters, which is not as bad as it sounds, but it's an acronym of um, something like the Bramall and District Scooter Heroes in Transit, right? But I like to call it the Bald and Desperate Scooter Headcases in Turmoil, right? Something like that. It sounds a bit more fitting. And um, Steve had an even better description. He said, never mind that. He said it should be called the Bedwetters, right? Which uh, made me laugh a little bit. So.